Hello, how? Hi. How to convert a variable into stationary? So that is the question. And here we have a non stationary variable called income. And, uh, and we want to convert this non stationary variable into stationary into uh, so so i am telling again and we want to convert this non stationary variable into stationary by first differencing and afterwards we can use this stationary data or variable to run various time series models such as regression, var, Granger causality and so on. And here we shall be appointing correlogram and Q statistics to conduct the test. And here we have we have two uh, we, we have set our hypothesis first is null hypothesis that is variable is stationary and alternative hypothesis variable is not stationary okay now we see our variable which is called income right okay the variable is here I can show you Okay, you can see the months, right? This is the variable income. So there are how many months are here? You can see 36 months. And we have the uh, uh, this variable, which is income. And we have one more variable that is called D income, meaning that first difference of income variable and that is called D income and here you see the first uh, box is always empty when there is a first differencing okay what about the second box 0. 0.6 how to get 0. 0.6 35.66 minus 35.06 is 0.6 then how to get 2.17 37.83 minus 35.66 you can get 2.17 in this way you can get all the digits until this okay so the first variable income and the second variable is the first difference of income okay now i first check whether income variable that is stationary or not stationary that i check first okay how to check i go to statistics right you can see i go to statistics here i click it then time series I select then set up utilities then declare data set to be time series data that I do first and here I, I select the months right because we have monthly data so I select month so you, you see the we have 36 months right okay 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 now uh, we plot the income variable first right we plot it how to plot i go to statistics then i go to time series because our model is a time series model then i select graph then i select line plots right line plots okay it is coming up gradually then i create the variable that we have 
I enter create and we have time series plot right and our variable we can find we have the variable which is income that I select to plot right that I select to plot then I put accept then I put accept ok right so so it is, it is coming the plotting of income variable it is coming gradually ok come come we are waiting for you yes she has appeared eventually okay you can see the income variable right and this is the months and this is the plotting right it is going up meaning that this data is non stationary right this data is non stationary okay but but uh, uh, but uh, but we can also check in other way whether the data is non stationary or not so we can do it okay how to do it i go to statistics right then i go to time series i go to graph right then i go to autocorrelation and pa partial autocorrelation test right so i select this one i press ok and from here I select our income variable right I select it then I press ok so this thing would be correlogram you can see from here correlogram and lag right so I have taken 16 lag right and I have taken Q statistics and the probability value right you can see Q statistics and the probability value and you can see here and, and, and the question is that what is our null hypothesis null hypothesis is null is data or variable sorry income variable is stationary stationary an alternative hypothesis is income variable is not stationary right so that is our alternative hypothesis okay here you can see the probability value all are zero right you can see all are zero right all are zero meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis that means our income variable is not stationary now uh, now we shall convert this variable into stationary okay okay what we have done what we have done actually we have actually now uh, we shall convert the income variable into first difference and then we shall check whether this d income variable is stationary or not okay so uh, now uh, we can check as before I go to statistics ok first I plot this d income variable then we check I go to statistics as before I go to time series I go to graph as before then I select the line plot as before ok then uh, I what I do I re reset the whole things I select R resetting okay then I create again right I create again okay then time series plot okay this time I choose D income variable so that is the first difference of income variable that I select okay then I press accept then okay 
okay so the, it is coming you can see this is d income variable this is months and you can you can see the uh, you, can, you can see the plotting and the plotting actually looks like a stationary data right the plotting looks like a stationary data that means d income variable is a stationary data right but 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 we can double check that whether really it is stationary or not using mathematical approach so how to check i go to statistics as before then time series as before then graph as before then i select autocorrelation and part partial autocorrelation right and then here i select d income variable right that i select and i press ok so this is my variable this is my correlogram of d income this is the q statistics and corresponding probability value and here you can see the probability value are all more than 5% you can see what about this one 33.5% what about this one 27.08% which is more than 5% so meaning that we can reject we cannot reject null hypothesis because p value is is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hyp hypothesis meaning that d income variable is a is a stationary variable right and we can use this variable to run granger causality bar and, and, and so many time series model right that means uh, actually we shall be using these variables right the income variable because this variable is stationary so thank you very much for being with me for a while